Uh, in this problem, there's a bus that initially starts off traveling at a constant velocity. It won't maintain that constant velocity because it, at that point it begins to accelerate at a constant rate of 2 meters per second squared. It experiences a displacement of 500 meters through a time of 20 seconds. The question is, what is the initial speed? What we'll do is to state the equation for displacement. So again, the displacement is equivalent to the initial speed times the time plus one half times the acceleration times the square of the time. Same formula we've been using. Uh, none of these will be zero because we start off with some non-zero initial speed. So what we'll do is to in isolate this and solve for v naught. The first thing we need to do is to subtract this entire term. So delta x minus one half a t squared will be equal to v naught times t. And then the last thing we will do is to divide both sides by t and it will give us v naught. So when we substitute the numbers in, which we'll do right now, we end up with a displacement 500 meters minus one half times the acceleration, two meters per second squared, times the square of the time, that is 20 seconds quantity squared. Let's put this in more parentheses just to keep track. Divided by V time, 20 seconds. Let's just see what happens here. If we do meters minus meters per second squared times second squared, we have meters minus meters divided by seconds. It works dimensionally. When we do the math and plug the numbers in, we'll end up with a value of five meters per second. So this object would have started off at five meters per second and accelerated until it reaches the final speed, but not the final speed, this displacement.